Hey guys, we're here with Executive Director Bob Giordano, and he is the Executive Director of Free Cycles, and uh, we're going to touch base a little bit more about how you guys have been uh, uh, surviving the pandemic, and I've seen a lot of events kind of popping up through MissoulaEvents.net, and I was just like, I should get him on here. We haven't seen him in a while, and it's good to catch up. So yeah. let's talk a little bit about what uh, Free Cycles has been up to lately. Yeah, thanks, Scott, and uh, thanks, MCAT, and I uh, like the new digs here in the library. It's a sweet. Um, we reopened for on-site work back in May, on May Day, May 1st, and we've just completed six months as of yesterday of all outdoor work all summer, and it was busy. People love biking still, uh, even more so after the pandemic. So thousands of people have come through the doors. We keep helping people with bikes, and then you mentioned events, and that's Still a strong part of what we do, but we've had to tailor it back right. with uh, the COVID stuff. Yeah, and you guys have, uh, uh, I heard a couple years ago that you were working to buy the property. Um, uh, what is the status right now in terms of like ownership and all that stuff? Back in 2016, we were successful in purchasing the property. We raised 200 grand with your help, your help, my help, yep. everyone's help, the community. Um, that was enough for a down payment. We had a local benevolent investor uh, loan us a million dollars. Wow. And so we own the property now. We pay a mortgage, but we have some nice tenants, Zoo City Apparel, Yoga Studio, Soil Cycle, really oh. cool tenants that uh, all together it equals that mortgage, taxes, yeah. insurance. But we do have to refinance in a couple of years. So if you have which is good, yes. which is good a lot of times. Yes. Uh, yeah, because I refinanced recently and yeah. it was the best decision. Yeah. So if you have an extra million, we can outright own that property on First Street and do more programs, more yes. biking, more sustainability, more equity, justice, and everything that makes Missoula special, we're, we're just happy to be a part of that. Yeah, tell us a little bit more about those uh, other organizations that are uh, that are working with you right now. Well, um, we occupy half the property. It's two acres, 28,000 square foot building with a lot of doors connecting everything. Um, Sacred Ally is one of the main tenants. They're a yoga studio, sound healing, uh, Tibetan bowls. It's really cool mm. healing. Uh, very powerful. Zoo City Apparel, beloved local t-shirt shop. Soil Cycle, they take uh, people's food scraps and turn it into soil and then oh, give it back to folks. Nice composting. Yes. Nice. Um, and then we have a bunch of office tenants. Uh, Britt Arneson, she's a great local musician. She has, her, she has a recording studio. We rent a little space to Love Boat Paddle Company. Um, inner roads, they take youth into the wilderness and get them strong and uh, powerful and yeah. on the right track. Because so, there's always something about nature that really just kind of like gives you a sense of refreshment. You know, you know, you're out there all the time, but when you're inside, you're kind of stuck inside the stuffy old house. You know, you can change your air filters all you want, but you're not going to get that sweet, sweet, sweet air, especially like the crisp bitter air that comes in Montana during the winter time. I'm a winter guy, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I love the winter too. I love all the seasons here in Montana, uh, getting people outside into nature. And that's one of the reasons we do bike work is, yeah. you know, you're not, you're not in a car trapped behind the windshield. Uh, there's, a, there's a place for that, but most people in Missoula love to be outside and a biking is part of their life. Yeah. And so like uh, one of the things, you know, like wintertime, people are going to be more relegated to, you know, public transportation, less about biking. What are some of the things that you try to help encourage people to do more biking even in the wintertime? Well, one is we try to dispel the notion that maybe you have to go um, inside or in a car or a bus um, during the winter. Uh, the city's doing a pretty good job of maintaining bikeways, trails, and if you dress right, um, you know, people go skiing and sit on a chairlift with 40 mile an hour winds, 10 below zero, and they might say, well, it's a little cold to bike today when it's 20. Right. No, you can do it. Yeah. Uh, with the right bike and tuned up well and the right, right, right clothes, um, it's not that hard. Yeah. But we, we do all have to work together to make sure this community becomes more bikeable. And we have Missoula Institute for Sustainable Transportation, MIST. Oh. That's our advocacy, design, and research arm to help Missoula lessen our dependence on driving. We're not gonna get rid of the car, but we certainly can drive less as a community and there's a lot of health benefits to that. Nice, sweet. So uh, tell uh, people a little bit more information about where people can get uh, more information about Free Cycles. Yes, yeah. uh, freecycles.org. Um, it's, it's an easy website to remember. Uh, we have our programs and hours on there. Um, that's really the main way, uh, but we love for people just to stop by and see us over on South First Street West, three blocks west of Orange. We're open Wednesday through Saturday, 10 to 6. 
We'll probably keep that throughout the winter because we want people to bike year round, not just when it's gloriously warm and sunny, all year round. So we're open year round. Nice. Well, thanks, Bob, for joining yeah. us. Yeah, I really appreciate it, Scott. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Can we shake hands these days? Uh, we just did. Oh. <laughs>